known as Noble Strength and welcome to my channel. I hope you all are doing well wherever you are in the world. Today, guys, I'm going to be talking about stylish vegan leather bags. And the bags I'm going to be showing you today are from Spray Brown. Yes, I absolutely love Spray Brown. Since I've gotten introduced to them, I am so hooked. I love their creativity in their designs. I like the artistic elements of the aesthetics of it. And I like the spoof on designer bags and items. And so I'm gonna go ahead and share with you these really nice quality vegan leather bags. Vegan leather is an imitation leather. It's a faux leather, and it's usually made of polyurethane, which is a plastic-based material, but it's so economical. And back in the day, it used to be called pleather, but it has come a long way since, you know, its beginning. And now you can't even hardly tell the difference between, you know, real leather and faux leather in some cases. It just depends on the quality of the faux leather. So if that's your type of thing, I hope you stick around. I hope you stay tuned in, get something to drink because I got a lot of bags to show you. This is a big haul, guys, and I'm excited to share it with you. We're going to start with this first tote. This is called the SG All Day Tote. So this is a play on Dior. If you've seen the Dior monogram, you know this has a very similar aesthetic appeal to it. And this one says spray ground. So you have these nice contrasting elements, which we're gonna talk about here. I love how spray ground incorporated this key. This is actually a key ring, but it has a mirror on it. So on one side, it actually says spray ground. On the other side, you have that little mirror. So you can actually detach this, put your keys on it and have you a little, you know, convenient mirror for use. If you don't want that bright pop of red there, you can always, you know, remove it and it would look like this. So very aesthetically clean and very pleasing. I love this like pebbled leather um, trim on it. Very, very nice guys, very good quality absolutely love it and then you have this nice gunmetal hardware and i like that kind of chain concept here and then you also have the pebbled leather on the bottom and you have the rolled handles so for this tote it is a zip closure and the pull tab says spray ground and it's a very smooth zipper, just smooths back. Look at that, just, I love a smooth zipper. So you open it up, let me go ahead and unstuff it. So on the inside, you have a dark nylon interior that has the spray ground shark's mouth embedded into it. You have a zip pocket on one side and you also have spray ground limited edition tab so spray ground does what they call drops or new releases and they do them quite frequently so when they do a drop it is a certain number and then they don't make any more and then they come out with something new now the new releases or the new drops can be similar in design but they won't be the exact same so that's why they're called limited editions so this is the sg like i say all day tote very nice and wide and sturdy absolutely love it so this is the sg uh crossover clutch and i absolutely love this it has the same aesthetic of the tote but it's just in a wristlet form so you have the removable wristlet which you can just unsnap and then you have this nice little clutch gripping uh, handle here. I absolutely love that. It's smooth zipper once again, and the inside has the same dark interior that the tote has. And each one of these items comes with a tag and I save those. Pretty cool little design on it. It has this kind of holographic or hologram type, I don't know what you would call it, but tag on it that says spray ground, but I'm keeping all of those. This also has the limited edition tag on the inside and it has a zip pocket as well here. So really nice and this is padded guys. Nice cushioning and padding behind this 
coated canvas, very sturdy, and the same thing with the tote as well. So let me show you the tag on the tote, which I forgot to share. So like I say, they each come with a tag, and I just think these are collectibles and nice to have. So this one came with a $1 billion tag, and it has the little shark's mouth. So that's what it looks like. Really cute. All right, so that's the first set that I got. And like I said, this is called the SG All Day Tote and the SG Crossover Clutch. So the next item that I'm gonna share with you is also a tote, but it has a completely different design. And this one is called the VVIP Tote. And what I love about this is just the design element. It reminds me of an abstract work of art, kind of like a Pablo Picasso kind of cubism style piece where you have the fractured pieces that have been disassembled and rearranged. So you have the shark's eye up here and the shark's mouth with a limited color palette of black, white, and brown, which I absolutely love. It just kind of gives me, I don't know, African vibes about it. It has the black hardware, black metal hardware, which I like. And then the faux leather or the vegan leather is embossed and imprinted with S, kind of in a diamond type monogram motif. And this is kind of like a play on Gucci. You know how Gucci has the G's and the diamond, but I love it. It has a front zip pocket pull here with this kind of like a diamond shape pull tab that says spray ground. And this is a pretty deep pocket, so you can put things inside there. Absolutely love that. And I like the chain link on the handles, and this is what the other side looks like. And this is what the bottom looks like and the sides. So it's rectangular in design. And then I absolutely love the open and close mechanism here. So you have this pull piece here, and then to close it, you just insert it back in and it's locked. So let's go ahead and take a look on the inside of this tote as well. I've got it stuffed. Black interior with the shark's mouth embedded into it. It has the limited edition uh, stamp on one side and it also has the zipper compartment here as well on that same side. It's very deep. You can fit a lot in here. Be great for carrying, you know, a laptop, books, or anything like that. You can fit everything that you want in here and just be so stylish. So it does come with an additional strap, but this is one con that I don't like and I'll tell you why. So the strap you have to attach by unscrewing. So I'm giving you my honest review that is how you have to hook it on if you want it to hook on and then you have to screw it back. So I don't like that, you know, I like the more convenience uh, clicking type attachment. So that is the one con, but you do click it on the D-rings here and then you can wear it as a crossbody or a shoulder bag. So this is called the V V I P tote. So the next item that I picked up is this tote and this is called the AI3 tote. And actually this is a series that Spray Ground has done before AI, but this is the third collection in that series, thus the number three. AI stands for African intelligence. So it's a play on artificial intelligence, the future and, and where we're going in the world. And so they've kind of incorporated those futuristic elements, kind of telling a story. So this was a collaborative design effort by uh, David Ben David and Sandflower. I thought now would be a good time to interject and read to you what Sandflower, the co-designer of this collection, had to say about this collection. It reads, Inside each of us lives rare and precious ideas and goals. The outside world is focused on appearance and can often misjudge us. Yet inside our hearts and minds are golden dreams to be fulfilled. As we move forward into the unknown future, we can never forget who we are and where we come from. This AI collection celebrates the spirit of abundance and beauty that is in our DNA. Wear this bag with pride and know you can be do or have anything you set your mind to because you already have gold, diamonds, nature, and the galaxy inside of you. Sandflower wanted this to pay tribute to the motherland and Africa and where we all came from. So that's why it's called African intelligence. So here she wanted this to be kind of a play on 
uh, microchip or you know kind of technology since that's where our country is heading so just kind of putting a little bit of pop culture or I should say you know how things are in the world and then you have your sharks print mouth with this kind of faux animal fur here faux animal print leopard print and then on the back side you also have the same thing so it's like a mirror image except for you have the chip on this side and then you have the gold bar spray ground here you also have that red uh keychain that has the mirror on this side which i think is really really nice this is what it looks like on the bottom and this of course is a play on louis vuitton with their damier ebene print and it has the shark's mouth print on the handle and let's go ahead and take a look i love these little just touches of design elements this is a lion's tooth here that says spray ground actually love that have the nice zipper pull here very smooth that is your standard inside except for this time um on the limited edition tag you actually have the signature of sunflower and david ben david on the inside since it was a collaborative effort design and you still have that dark black nylon interior with the sharks embedded in it and then on the other side you have a zipper compartment it is very well structured it is very thick canvas and it has a lot of weight to it which i absolutely love so this is the ai3 tote all right, moving right along, and I will be doing some mod shots of these, so I hope you're still hanging in there with me because I am loving this spray ground collection, and I definitely want to hear from you in the comments below. Are you enjoying what I am showing you? Okay, so the next item and the final item is the Garden of Sharks uh, mini duffel bag. Absolutely love it. So once again, it's a kind of play on LV with, you know, that kind of Damier Ibn print, but it has these beautiful, brilliant, vibrant uh, flowers imprinted on it. And if you saw my unboxing of the backpack, it had a floral print, but it was more pastel-y, more springy. These are just a bit more summery because they're a bit deeper and richer in color. Absolutely love it. So there are a lot of things that I like about this particular bag. So this kind of has um, a, what do you call it? Staffiano type leather, faux leather trim. Um, it has that kind of textured hatching type technique to it. And then this is what I love. I like the locking mechanism on this. So you have the spray round lock. So that's how you close it using the zippers. So you just, to get in and out of it, you just turn it and you can always leave them unlocked, but if you wanna secure it, you do have that ability to do that. And so you have your gold zippers here. You also have your D-rings on the side, so it does come with a crossbody strap, a nylon crossbody strap, which I'll show you in just a minute. Has a zip pocket on this side, which I absolutely love. So it has a gold zip pocket here very deep pocket so you can fit a lot in there it goes from here down to the bottom and then you have the secret compartment here which i like and it goes the length of the bag guys you can stick practically your whole hand all the way down in there look at there so you can stash some stuff in there love that and i'm going to show you the part that i absolutely love if you thought that was good let's take a look at this inside Okay, here is the strap. You do have a nice padded uh, wide shoulder strap, shoulder uh, strap kind of padding that has spray ground on it and your gold hardware. Now this strap is wide and it has that easy clipping mechanism for attachment on the bag, which this is what we want on the other bag. This is what I was wanting. All right, so love that. Now, this is the wow. Look at that beautiful, like aqua teal or turquoise interior. I absolutely love, love. It matches that uh, kind of, you know, foil print on the outside, but beautiful. You have your limited edition pad on this side. It has a zip pocket over here on the same side. And then you have two slip pockets on the other side. And guys, this bag is a nice size bag 
absolutely love it. This bag is probably the size of, if you're a Dunian Burke owner, this would be the size of a large Florentine satchel. And if you own an LB uh, Speedy, this would probably be the size of the 35 or slightly uh, smaller. But this has the six feet on the bottom, which I love, so cute. And now, what you've all been waiting for. I know you want to see the mod shots. You want to see how they hang, how they carry. Well, I'm 5'8", just for reference of height. And now I'm going to show you how these beauties carry. And then I'll be right back. So stay tuned. all so much for tuning in to hear me talk about and gush about something that I really enjoy and if you're a handbag lover I know you get me we're there we, we, we understand one another which is a good and so these are the stylish vegan leather bags that I wanted to share with you from spray ground go ahead and check them out they're very reasonably priced so thank you for watching my name's Audrey also known as Noble Strength remember to be a good steward of all that God has given you because he loves us so much. And I love you too. And I'll see you next time. Bye.